Hey guys, what's up? Spectre here, and there are many creatures across the world of Anthem, and some of those creatures will be trying to rip your head off, so it's best you learn about them sooner rather than later. Let's begin. We'll start with the Chimera. These aren't a single distinct creature, but a classification of creature. Any creature that has been fundamentally changed after a cataclysm, the large shaper storms that we've seen in trailers, can be considered a chimera. Wildlife affected by a shaper storm may look the same, but may have gained newfound elemental abilities such as fire, ice, or electricity. This is perhaps pointing towards mobs of enemies in-game changing after a storm, adding variety to open-world gameplay. Elementals are pretty standard MMO fare, appearing as floating entities that are charged with a certain element. These chimeric creatures are highly volatile, and it's theorized that they were dust particles that were somehow animated by the Anthem of Creation. According to the lore, some scientists believe that Titans, an enemy we'll discuss in a bit, can even summon elementals. Wolven are one of the many hostile creatures you'll come across as you traverse the in-game world. These large wolf-like creatures roam in packs. An excerpt from an in-game book, A Guide to Living Things That Will Kill You, describes them this way. Imagine gnashing teeth coming at you over and over again in quick succession. You raise your weapon to defend yourself, but another beast has come at you from behind. The pack closes in, and you pray to the shapers that your javelin has cooled down enough to fly up and out of the nightmare. But they're everywhere, wolven, wolven in the dark. Titans are a major force, and we've seen them in action before. Titans have been emerging from a single point known as the Heart of Rage for the past few years for reasons unknown. They reproduce by growing a smaller version of themselves that detaches from their main body. While smaller, these offspring are still powerful and dangerous to freelancers. Titans are capable of immense strength and even projecting blasts of energy from their chests. Scorpions are, well, they're large alien scorpions, and their name is spelled with a K instead of a C, but stick with me. There's a lot more to fear from these creatures that meets the eye. They have highly acidic blood and two stingers that allow them to shoot concentrated acid at incredible distances. Their offspring can burrow underground, taking freelancers by surprise. Grabbits are the funny little creatures we've seen in gameplay. They're somewhat cute compared to the rest of the in-game fauna. Apparently, according to legend, they're known to steal and hoard treasures. Some people even keep them as pets, even though they're quite dangerous to average humans. Suited up freelancers have nothing to worry about, though, as they aren't hostile to us. Scars are the final creatures I'll be covering. At first glance, these enemies seem like humanoids, but they're actually insects. These colonial swarms mimic the dominant life forms of a given area. After a particularly devastating cataclysm, the freelancers defeated a monstrous Scar entity, after which the Scar began to mimic humans, stealing our tech, becoming as human-like as possible. This horrifying transformation was recalled by an eyewitness, saying, This wasn't just four or five insects, this was thousands. An entire colony working together to make arms and legs, to make heads and eyes, they became people. And that's about it for this video. For more on Anthem and other titles like Cyberpunk 2077, The Outer Worlds, Rage 2, and more, make sure to sub. And don't forget to drop a like below to let me know that you want more Anthem coverage. And as always, thanks for watching.